Shibarium update and getting ready for Chitoshi. The Shiba Inu coin continues to have a strong relationship with the overall price of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and everything else going in the cryptocurrency market right now. But there are a lot of things in the Shiba Inu coin environment that we need to talk about, so that's what we'll do. I don't know if you've seen Satoshi's latest post on Telegram, but it won't be here forever. Satoshi wants to leave the Shiba Inu ecosystem team and sail off into the sunset. And man, what better time to do it than when he's on vacation and free to do whatever he wants. Or, he could join another coin project and do the same thing he did with Shiba Inu. We will talk. The unification development team gave us a report on Shibarium so we can see where they are. Let's not forget that the main Shibarium network gives out a lot of information. We'll talk about it, and if it sounds interesting to you, let's get started. We talk about the latest news about Shiba and us and the Bitcoin world in general on our channel. If you are watching one of our movies for the first time, we want to give you a warm welcome. You can make sure you never miss a movie by clicking the bell. We will say that this station is giving away 5 million Shiba Inu tokens. To get a chance to take part, just subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a message with the hashtag hash Shiba Inu. On June 30, they will tell everyone who won. It is also said that Shiba Inu's burn rate has increased by 16-19% compared to the very low numbers from the day before. 330 million Shiba tokens have been burned in the last 24 hours. Token burning is the process of taking tokens out of circulation for good, which lowers the total number of tokens. In the case of Shiba Inu, a higher burn rate is good for the price of the token because it lowers the number of tokens in circulation and creates a scarcity effect. If demand stays the same or goes up, the price of Chiba will probably go up. It is said that the price of Shiba Inu has gone in a good direction. At the moment, the token is trading at 800 points and has reached the 50 period exponential moving average, which is a popular way to tell which way a trend is going. Also, Chiba's trading volume is going up, which suggests that traders are dealing more and are more interested. The Relative Strength Index, or RSI, is also important. A momentum oscillator is a tool used to measure how fast prices change and how much they change. Chiba's RSI is above 50, which means that the token's market direction is becoming more bullish. The Shiba Inu community has taken steps to control the supply of tokens and indirectly affect the price. This is shown by the amazing burn rate and the price change that followed. The burning approach can be seen as an attempt to create a deflationary effect to counteract the inflationary pressure caused by the large initial supply of tokens. The large rise in the Shiba Inu burn rate has caused the market to act in a bullish way, as shown by the rise in the token's price and trading volume. The token's performance seems to be getting better as a result of the token burning plan, which, if it continues, could help Chiba's long-term value. It's important to remember that this is just a guess based on what was said in the news. Before making investment decisions, it's always a good idea to do more study and look at different sources. Guys, the Shiba Inu coin group has a lot going on. Let's take a quick look at the crypto market as a whole. Even though the SEC is fighting Binance, Coinbase, and everyone else right now, this just opens the door for Citadel, BlackRock, Fidelity, and others to come in and take over the industry. I can promise you that Citadel is scratching their backs. Gary Gensler will get money from Citadel, BlackRock, and others at the SEC. If this company gets a monopoly on the Bitcoin market, you can forget about it. So let's hope that these judges have some backbone and realize that neither Binance nor Coinbase are bad. Now, let's talk about a couple of new things. Let's talk about the latest news on Shibarium's unification and then quickly talk about what they plan to do. One tweet says that the test network is an update that unifies and is in the middle of it. It says that this is still something that is being worked on. Our goal is to do this, talking about the virtual reality of the metaverse and giving more information at the end of the month. Also, we'll be making plans for a faster execution in any public beta test network and for Shibarium's future potential. All teams are working on big changes for their communities behind the scenes, which we're proud of and where I hope to play a big role in the very near future. 
only a few steps away. Guys, everything will happen soon. I mean, I know that sometimes it makes me feel bad to share these reports when there are no dates at all for placement. Everything happens quickly. It won't be much longer. All of these things we don't really see happening right now are changing the world, but we need to know what's going on. And if this is all the information we have, they should know about it. I wish they were a little bit clearer, shorter, and more professional, but we haven't seen that in any part or feature of the Shiba Inu coin community. I'm not sure if that will ever happen in any part of the community. Another news flash I've been making Shiba Inu coin videos and keeping an eye on the environment for almost two years now. To say the least, it's been interesting. Satoshi has no other plans than to ride away into the sunset. Until recently, he would say in a telegram post that Shibarium would no longer be needed once it launched, and that it would be on its way once it did. Very similar to the made-up story of Ryoshi, who just went and left us with this whole ecosystem that will take off and ride off into the sunset, leaving us to enjoy all of its bone and leash riches. In this tweet, Satoshi Kusama says that this isn't the first time he's said that he'll leave after he finishes his work. I mean, just a few days ago, come back and show me where he said this before. And I'd love to see that text post. This is the first time I remember Satoshi saying, in his own words, that he will leave the environment when the main Shibarium network is up and running. Running. It is a very interesting story about who is responsible for what and whose job it is. Still, nobody cares. But no matter what, I think what we have here is a chance to understand that the ecosystem team didn't build or make Shiba Inu. On all the other John Richmond and Welly jobs, they went in and built Shibushi with Bone and Leash. When the price of the Shiba Inu coin started to go up, it became more famous. We will soon understand that we don't need an ecosystem team to work. We don't need a group of hackers to make the Shiba Inu coin worth something. If you think back to May 2021, when people made millions of percent on the Shiba Inu coin, it was because people were ready to buy. This can definitely happen again on a large scale in another bull market, as we have seen in the past. Ecosystems are nice, and there is a lot to say about them. You can put your money into different projects, which is a great idea. But the Shiba Inu coin group is not for investors, it is for people who want to buy coins. How many times has the ecosystem team made something you could buy, but not necessarily to make the Shiba Inu coin more valuable? I'm interested in what will happen to cryptocurrency when people understand that it is based on the community and not on developers. I want to know what you all think about this. Tell me what you think in the area below for comments. So, this video has come to an end. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to sign up for more. This helps me a lot with how YouTube works. Also, show as many people as you can this movie. Let's tell everyone about this.